Hey there, it's Disco Doggy. I'm uh, playing around with some uh, Warbot, or some, I should say, Minefield and Nethergate action. Um, oh, by the way, I'm just going to do Disco's 3 today for right now. Got some other things I want to do, so I'm going to keep it sort of short. Um, why am I messing around with the uh, imp and the warbot after all this time well I, th I think it might be making a comeback at some point um, why would it make a comeback well undead pets are going to be nerfed uh, AOE is going to be nerfed those are the two things that are keeping um, the imp in check and then also we won't see as many graves it always baffled me like well you make this super awesome pet graves and then you just give it some extra, some extra little bell and whistle, bell or whistle, like that it removes objects. I mean, it's pretty obvious to everyone that you know, Blizzard intentionally made that overpowered so that people play Heroes of the Storm. Which I did, and I found out that I don't like MOBAs. So now I don't have to know. So now when people say, hey, you should play League of Legends, like, they told me that all the time and I'm like now I really know no I would never do such a thing gross me out okay but anyways uh, we're gonna go with uh, oh. try some bot for some more bot now the sort of crappy thing about facing this team right here is with the um, with the undead racial you have to worry about a bug. There's an end of turn bug, which uh, what happens is if, okay, that's fine. Uh, Cause I'm pretty sure I'm gonna be able to outlast you. Oh, sorry. Um, what happens is that if one of these pets were to be taken to zero health by the minefield then it would get an extra turn it basically doesn't kill it you know it doesn't it it doesn't remove it from play at all okay it just um, it gets an extra turn. I mean, geez, I already said it. That's what I was trying to say. It gets an extra turn, damn it. Okay, so here's where we might be able to pull off something interesting. Okay, the shield is gone now. Oh, no, never mind. So this is cool. This worked out well because I'm going to be able to put that up. Next pet's going to come in. And then I'm going to be able to get another minefield down for the pet after that. Unless, unless this fragment of anger stuns me. Oh, why the hell do I have a grotesque on this team? Uh, I've been facing so many ore eaters and so many uh, <clears throat> crushers. It's insane. Okay, well, oh, you know, there you go. You're good. You're good, man. You were able to stun me. You're good. Sorry. <laughs> All right. So what we would like to do here is to get rid of his undead racial by making him die on the back line. I don't know how this is going to go because, you know, the uh, Weebomination has consumed corpse. It's going to... It's gonna rip through my imp pretty fast, you know. Maybe if I had a, maybe if I had a better, better third pet here, might work. But I don't, I don't really see the point in backlining the imp. You know, there, there's, it's kind of, it's kind of done to do that. So let's see. That guy has a lot of health. My imp's gonna take one or two more hits. How much does his ghostly bite do? I think it only does 560. Okay, so imp is gone. Hmm, I'm thinking draw here. I'm thinking draw. Yep, 
pretty sure it's going to be a draw. Oh well. Triple undead, you get draws. I don't think I could have done anything different in that battle. I, th I think I'm fine. As a matter of fact, my, my opponent played pretty poorly by just let me do whatever I want with my <laughs> with my amp um, you know it's gonna be fun all right so try some was that try some Thor or try some bot uh, that was try some bot so we got a draw yeah again I, I, I by the way, that same team, I destroyed that same team on Blistering Twist earlier. Like, it was, it was awesome. I mean, the guy, or my opponent thought that, sure, I'll put up Zomstruck in his shell shield, and I will be protected from your Zandalari Tone Nibbler. Did not go as planned. For him. <laughs> For me, it was great. I mean... The, the, the Tone Nibbler just ripped that dude to shreds. It was awesome. So let's, well, I'm not getting, I'm not getting, it's not happening again for me. I mean, he's not coming up right away. Huh. So yeah, uh, Warbot versus Thor. Um, I don't know, I wanted Thor for a long time. Uh, I finally got it, and then it turns out minefields weren't as good, imps weren't as good for the reasons I discussed earlier. So, I mean, this was the number one pet I wanted. Frosty would be next after that, and um, now that undead are being nursed, I don't know that I want Frosty as much anymore. Uh, <clears throat> and also since the, uh, not the ter not the turnip, but what's that other undead pet that came out? It has blistering cold. I wanted to play around with blistering cold a little bit, and and I did, and it was fun, but not a move that I like a lot. But yeah. So, anyways, I don't want frosty as much anymore now. But so Thor, I got it, and I just immediately shelved it, shelved it because shelved, shelved. Um because of the problems with minefield in the current meta but hopefully changes are coming and it'll make imps and mines viable again what are we looking at here what oh didn't this happen last time too i was about to oh cool Merkelot and graves i like Merkelot and graves well Interestingly enough, I have a bash pet. Come on, you know you know you're not very good. You know that you are going to use righteous inspiration right now. Do it, do it, do it. Oh yeah. <laughs> I I swear to god, I'm so lucky when it comes to Merkelot and Graves because like I I some other video that I was making like a long time ago. Like I hardly see Merkelot and Graves, but some other video. And you know what? I faced, I was fa I faced Merkelot and Graves in that video, and then I had a bash pet. It might have even been the Tiny Twister itself, but I mean, that's pretty good. I didn't do the lightning because um, I don't want the lightning to hurt me come on triple triple there we go good nibbler let's see so do I want to sacrifice this guy there's no other AOE here what speed is that guy 276 I'm not going to do this Because there's no other AOE, I might as well bring that guy in. The beast racial is there. If I need, if I need to slow anything down, I'll be able to get off a primal cry if I really want this frog to be slowed. 
So what I'm going to do then is I'm going to put up this. Oh, here. One of those guys, are you? I would never do anything like that. Spam frog kiss, <laughs> frog kiss, frog kiss, and hope that hope that I get a proc. I would never do that. You know I'm lying, of course, because you've seen it happen before. This is a scary one. Oh, okay, I'm feeling good. I'm feeling good now. So here's why I'm feeling good, because I'm gonna do that to you, and then I'm gonna do this to you. Okay. And then what do we got come up? I don't I don't know that I'm out of the woods yet. I'm kinda scared now. I don't th maybe I shouldn't have maybe I shouldn't have backlined that, that toe nibble. Alright. Okay, it's okay. <clears throat> that dude to be slower right there I want him to take some damage oh I don't know if that's gonna be enough damage now I'm hoping that 107 plus the lighting I'm good okay I didn't calculate it completely hmm. okay that's fine now because my frog is faster than you Okay, well, go ahead. Do do what you got to do, man. But guess what? I am faster than you, and I have a bubble up, so you are not going to be able to do anything to me, my friend. I still got a bubble up. Now, 253, 277, I'm good there. Okay. Oh! Oh, I got my bubble up. Okay, it scared me for a second. I'm like, what am I doing? Is that my bubble? Oh, boy. Crisis averted. Okay. Let's just make sure there's nothing weird going on here. 277. Okay, there we go. Hardly ever see <sighs> Merkelot and Graves. I do see it. And I'm lucky enough to have a bash. Wow. Pretty lucky for me. All right, so I am one win and one draw. What do I want to play? Do I want to go back to... I'm kind of afraid to go back to my imp now. I mean, man, the imp's just going to get pounded by an R-eyed consumed corpse or an R-eyed... Uh, Bonestorm. <clears throat> Do I have any interesting Mercadan te I mean Merkelot teams? I don't think I do. <laughs> Blizzard owns me. Yes, they do. Wait, there's new stuff? Oh, wait, let me get my wallet! Oh, sorry. It's mocking myself there. Uh, yeah, I, I don't <laughs> really see anything that I want. I feel like playing there. I don't. I don't really have any any interesting Merklot teams that I could. Oh well, this, this is kind of cool, I guess. I mean, trying to create some synergy with a uh, with Arcane Storm. I don't. I don't. I'm, I'm afraid. I'm afraid to play with this team. I'm kind of a. I'm kind of a Merklot noob. I don't play with it a lot, but. So what do I, what would be the point here? You wanna seems kind of clunky because I mean, do I want to start with righteous inspiration and RI into my arcane storm? That doesn't seem like all that fabulous, really. So then I do that, and then I hit arcane storm hits for eight hundred sixty-six damage, and I go to my mana surge, and then I I don't know, I don't know. It's very clunky. Let's do it. Let's play this clunky team. 
big mana jamma. So I just discussed the strategy with you while talking to myself. Uh, God, I'm gonna lose. I just ha I just have this sinking feeling that I'm gonna lose. I'm playing with the team, and I'm not too I'm not too like stoked on. I don't even want to play with this team. You know, Here, here's why. I don't want to lose with like one of the overpower, most overpowered moves in, in, in the game. You know, it just makes me look bad. Uh, I just played with blistering twist. I, I played with. Oh wait, that wasn't a loss, right? Uh, two. Oh and one. There we go. Well. We tried some bot, now let's try some Thor. Maybe, maybe Thor can do better than the, uh, the war bot. I mean, not, not really that, uh, not that great a team because of the grotesque. If I was going to get more serious about this team, I'd probably pick a better, a better third pet there. I almost said a fourth pet. I'd do pretty well if I could pick up fourth pet but I'd probably win I'd probably win most of my battles if I had a fourth pet ew yuck that's just gross do I want to put the minefield down I think they're gonna go kid to Terraclaw hatchling let's go ahead and just let's go ahead and just put this out there and just see what happens I don't know if they're gonna go to the Iron Starlet after this. I don't know if they're gonna go to the Terraclaw Hatchling after this. Either way, I'm fine. Oh, okay. You can do that. If you want to waste your kid on this, I'm A-OK -okay with that. And so here, here's where I can do a head game if I if I want. He's got hoof there. So I can tr bring in my imp. But is that taking too big of a chance? Do we want to get greedy? Things seem to be going okay for me. If it if it continues this way, I think I'll be okay. Um, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna bring in the imp because next round I think he's gonna try to ethereal that, and I don't think that uh, I don't think that he knows that he can. Okay, I don't know why. I'm just assuming that they don't know. Now, I'm going to get screwed here if I haunt, because I could do Nethergate. But I think he's going to use Ethereal here. I just have a feeling. Oh, yeah! Guess what, pal? You still get hit. Oh, and you got hit big. So now, I'm going to gate at will, since I know you don't have a block there. Oh, okay. Wow. Well, well, well. Things seem to be going okay for me. Sometimes it just comes down to that one move. Now here, I don't want the, I don't want the racial. I mean, sorry, I don't want that glitch, that bug to be activated. What are, what do my mines do? Okay, it's gonna do just under enough to kill him, so that's perfect. Uh, let me hit you with this as well. I think I got it wrapped up here, but I don't want to get complacent. You know, that's how I lose a lot. I'm like, oh, yeah, I got this. This is easy. I'm facing some awesome teams here. I mean, some awesome pets. Is he going to be... He should. He's probably going to want to make himself faster than my imp. Is he faster than my imp? What do I do? 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 <laughs> okay. Ah, uh, yeah, he's doing it. He's going for it. Oh. Okay. Oh, this is bad. Well, my emulation. Okay, I think he's dead, actually. Okay, I'm, I'm good. I'm good. Because that sticky grenade is... So, he's going to get hit there with emulation. Then he's going to get hit with the sticky grenade. Oh, yeah! Oh, you didn't give me the pleasure of seeing your stupid Terraclaw hatchling. 
Oh, well, there's a there's a few thousand gold for that battle. You didn't give me the uh, the pleasure of seeing your Terraclaw hatchling or your ghastly kid walk into those mines. <sighs> oh well, well, okay. So I went two, zero, and one. That one draw, I don't know. I don't know what I could have done differently. Maybe you might see something. Maybe I might see something. But uh, no, there's no blatant mistakes in there. Second battle, I got lucky because, well, he probably shouldn't have RI'd against, uh, against a tiny twister. I mean, that's one of the cool things about using pets that people don't see often i mean you don't i hardly ever see a tiny t twister in a queue there in the queue there was a uh, one person who started using one um and they would always bash my ra or yeah bash my rabbit so I, I almost felt it was a bot at some point because like how many times do you bash a rabbit before you realize that bash is not effective against the rabbit okay but anyway someone was using a tiny twister but normally I don't see one. Okay, so my point is, if I can remember, maybe they didn't know that my tiny twister had bash, so they're like, haha, I got you with my RI into Bone Storm, and you will suffer greatly. Yeah, or however, however my opponents speak. And uh, instead, they got bashed, wasted their RI. It was still a close battle. And luckily, I had that that bubble to save me there at the end. Um, and then the last battle was just uh, really, really the the entire battle came down to one move. And is that do they ethereal when I think they're gonna use ethereal, or do they haunt me? If they would have haunted me, I mean, I'm not saying I would have lost automatically or anything like that, but things might have been a lot different if they haunted on that turn when I used immolation but they did not and it ended up being a spanking and I have oh that's my third that's my third flawless battle stone dude I can sell these for like four thousand dollars four thousand dollars awesome I'm, I'm rich in real life, you can sell these for four thousand dollars. No, I'm sorry, four thousand gold, of course. But uh, let's see how many how many battles have I won? Well, I'll figure this out at the end if I if I go all the way to a hundred with this. But let's see, uh, four hundred and three battles won, and I already have six stones. That's a no seven. <laughs> Seven stones. Counting is the hardest part. I already have seven stones and 400 battles. And I think I think when I did this before, uh, when I, when I, sorry, what is this? When I leveled through pet battles all the way to level 90 when that was max level, uh, I think the, the, the blue stone rate was at two and a half percent it was right around two and a half percent it was one in 40 so i'm uh i'm definitely uh doing better than than that right now this is uh what would what would one percent be one percent would be four. Oh, duh i'm, I'm actually doing right right about <laughs> where i'm supposed to be eight eight would be two percent so I'm actually I'm actually low. Jesus Christ! What was I thinking? What was I thinking? So what's what's one percent of four hundred? It's four. So I should be right at about ten stones right now if the rate is the same, and it is a lot lower. So, anyways, who wants to hear me do mental math? Nobody. Let's uh let's just close this and pretend like it never happened. Thanks for watching. Um, I do have the day off, so I may get to another video today, but it's not high on my pri priority list. I, I need to do some other things. I definitely need to sort out the Pet Battle League. I'll, uh, I'll, I'll post something on the forums about that, that our Season 1 needs to wrap up. So um, I may update my team's page and my miscellaneous page later as well but i also have some non-world of warcraft things to do 
Like for example, right now, I am going to eat some fish and chips. So now we're getting way into the realm of things that you do not give a crap about. So <laughs> thank you for watching. Have a good day.